welcome back everybody thank you for all the um, the great comments already that's great to see that you'd like to see some streams here on YouTube I uh, completely understand that that not everybody is uh, is obviously on Facebook and, and connected that way on social media so that's what these streams are for right here on YouTube for you for anybody to watch the draw has been done for day one of the golden rod feeder final here at uh, a partially sunny sunny Lawford Lakes um, complex uh, we've got a bit of cloud coming over now it is clouding over the wind is getting stronger as well so today the draw has been done obviously there's lots and lots of people um, wanting MPEG, they want an MPEGs and they are preferring MPEGs they can dominate here just like on lots of other venues but what I thought I'd do is we have actually got a full list of anglers but what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down just walk down the burr for you um, I'm not a big fan of walking down this burr during the match because there will be lots of anglers fishing down their margins and that sort of thing and I obviously don't want to go ruining their chances of catching fish down the margins particularly later on in a match okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to flick the camera around for you there we go so here we are this is match lake so this is the big bowl of match lake all right and as you can see there are some one or two well there are actually i think it works out four mpegs in this particular section so i just want to highlight these to you because these could obviously be of an advantage now that is grass bank over there just so you know where we are grass that's grass bank on match lake swing around here this is what's what they refer to as the bowl there's the obviously island the only island these lads are, are what we refer to as at the back of the island and then over there is Specy Lake. The cafe and lodge is directly behind that island in that direction, just so you know where we are. But this is one of the sections that uh, is, it, it, is probably the most interesting section for, um, for the actual differences in peg, to be fair. So all these anglers here are all competing against each other. Hi Matt, thanks for uh, joining mate. Um, this is basically what they refer to as the ball, but all these anglers here are competing against each other. Now, the anglers over there on that bank, all those pegs there are continuous right the way down. That is peg 17, 16, 15, 14, right the way down to peg one, which is right down in that bottom corner. There aren't any breaks whatsoever. So that is an end peg there. As you can see, all this corner here is left out. There's a big bowl here. And then you've got two anglers here sat in in the bowl okay but then so obviously this is an mpeg here that's an mpeg there but that is an mpeg as well because there's there is then a gap chris parker no problem mate there is a gap after that angler there of about it's the equivalent to four or five pegs so again that's classed as an mpeg and then further along there where the next angler is that is classed as an mpeg so it's a section where you know obviously we don't know what the better area is going to be yesterday adam wakelin was over there and he had the top weight on this match um hi kev kevin is the wind going to be a problem today hopefully not for filming mate i have got microphones covered up and stuff but please let me know if it is an issue um the wind does keep getting stronger thank you john um so yeah so like i said this is one section but there are four mpegs in it there's chopper morning mate he's supervising today but as we go down here around the back of the island the wind does keep getting stronger and dying off it's just died off again at the moment it has changed direction it was blowing straight where i'm standing now it was blowing straight down the lake that way however it has now changed it's coming more into this bank now into the um into the burr bank but it does keep dying down getting stronger so apologies if it does affect sound and things but i'll do my best for you so this is uh this is uh, the gap here to the island it narrows up there it does shallow up as well but obviously that because of the gap that does mean that this is an mpeg as well so the sun keeps breaking through which is nice but just while we're on the subject of mpegs because i can't i don't really want to be walking along this bird during the match and that's why i'm doing this now as you can see on the right hand side this is specy lake and on this end here we've actually got simon fry who's a fantastic angler absolute brilliant angler and he knows the venue really well and he's on the mpeg but look how far out of the corner that is so whilst it is an mpeg it's certainly not a corner peg is it just look at the room there you can see where they've been if i zoom in for you doing all the landscaping on the banks as you can see that was all natural bank not long ago there were trees there but that's all part of the work what's taking place at the moment but there's lots and lots of room here for Simon. Like I say, he knows the venue well, and I know he fancies that draw. This is the MPEG on match late. That wind's just eased off a little bit. And so, as we go down here, this will just give you an idea of how the pegs are spaced out and that sort of thing. 
Now, just to let you know, one of the things that is going to be important today is that just like on, on many competitions, you know, you might be fishing a 10 peg section, but 10 of you might be in a line. That's not the case here today. What they've actually done is they've actually pegged it so that these anglers here, so if you were on this peg, for example, you're not fishing against 10 anglers in a row going down that way. You're actually fishing against the anglers opposite, which, you know, whichever way you peg it, you can't please everybody, but at least when you peg it like that, you're fishing against the same anglers in the, who are fishing the same water as you. So, you know, it can be a much fairer way of doing it. Um, but let's just switch around again because I'll do a full walk down of the, of the burr. You can see that there's extra water in Match Lake as well. You can just see some of the submerged platforms down there, can't you? That's where the original level would be. So there's extra water in. There hasn't been any work going on on these banks. But as we get down here, you can see this is the old natural bank of the Brer, if you want to call it that, or the established bank, where it's obviously got weed and reeds and stuff growing. But as you can see, it soon changes going onto the bank where they've actually been tipping. Well, I'll go down to the bottom end for you, just to show you. Because lots of you on Facebook won't Lots of you on Facebook won't uh, won't get to see this. That's Mick Bull there. That's Mick. He knows the venue incredibly well. But as you can see now, we're now onto the bank here where they've they've been doing the work uh, and the landscaping and that sort of thing. So the wind on this side is off their backs. Adam Wakeling's there. Nick Speed, the current champion, Mr. Speed. You can see the water levels come up over this bit here, so there's extra water in. I, mean, I don't think it's been a sudden thing, but this is a much deeper than the match lake. You know, you're probably looking at, I don't know what depth they've got there now with this extra water in. There could be definitely 12 feet, might be even a bit more now. So, complete contrast between the two lakes. That's Steve Ringers there. They've got the wind coming in, or that breeze coming in here. These lads have got it off the backs here. Now, what will basically happen is, Today has been a random draw, or an open draw, which basically means any angler could have drawn anywhere today. However, tomorrow, the anglers that have drawn on here today will fish on here, and vice versa. So there will be two draws tomorrow, or two bowls to draw from, one for one lake, one for the other. So, you know, whilst they are fishing for section points, they will get the opportunity to fish both lakes over the two days. So, for those of you that missed the initial stream, today is day one. Of two days, um, they are fishing for a ten thousand pound first first prize. Uh, they're paying out the top ten. It's done on section points, so if you win your section, you get one point and downwards. So the lowest score over the two days will win. And if there is a joint on points, then there will be a weight count back. Simple as that. So when we get to the bottom end now of Special Lake, just to show you how it's changed, because a lot of you will have seen some of my videos and some of the other streams and stuff from how it used to look. You can really see how much work's been taking place and as we look across there that is the chalet bank where the chalets are and they've got the wind blowing into them as you'd expect so basically the anglers here are all fishing the same water so these anglers here are fishing against the anglers opposite so they are fishing the same water so we're fishing 11 till 4 it's a five hour match I will be streaming here on YouTube for you the majority of the streams will be going onto Facebook on the Golden Reel Angling Facebook page. So if you're on Facebook and you do want to see more frequent uploads or live streams about what's happening, then head on over to the Golden Reel Angling Facebook page. But because I know a lot of you have followed my channel um, for, for years now and I like to share as many experiences with you, with, you, know, with you as possible, um, just uh, to help you out and help you help you not miss too much of this match information I will be uh, streaming on here for you uh, to all my loyal subscribers which is hugely appreciated and there have been lots of thumbs up please keep the thumbs up coming because that tells me that you do want to see these streams not only from this event but all my events through the year on this channel because obviously you don't need to be on Facebook and social media to access these videos you know so so that's it we're going to head inside now just to get ready for the 11 o'clock start uh, we're fishing till four and there will be periodic streams on here onto the catch fishing channel for you i don't know what time they're going to be because it, it depends on when things are happening when people are catching and and when things happen that sort of thing so 
Um, if you don't want to miss out on them as they happen, then hopefully you're a subscriber to this channel anyway, just hit subscribe. But if you hit the notifications bell, every time there's a stream or a video, it will let you know that there's one currently being streamed. Okay, so you won't miss out on anything. So I'm gonna head in there now for a cup of tea. I've been on my feet for two hours. I was up at five o'clock this morning, so it's been a long day already, but we're gonna do our very, very best to capture as much of the uh, of the action for you. The wind keeps getting stronger. You can probably hear, hear the flagpoles dinging away there. So uh, yeah, if this sun keeps shining, it's gonna make it uh, much easier for us to film for you and give you most of the coverage. So uh, thanks for all the great messages so far. I really appreciate it. And I'll be checking in with you in a little while once the action gets underway but it's uh, it looks like it's gonna be a really exciting final especially with it being over two days